York Ebar Festival 2018. Five talking points on day four as Monta a win hands John Gosden further success. John Gosden ended York's four day Ebar Festival as he had begun it, in triumph. Roaring Lion started the ball rolling with victory in the Judd Mundy International on Wednesday before capturing the weather by his Hamilton Stairs million bonus with Lonsdale Cup hero Stradivarius on Friday. And Saturday continued the trend as Claire Haven runner Munta a led home stable made weekender in Europe's richest handicap they are two fabulous horses and we trained them specifically for this race and I told the jocks beforehand I had never had them better, said Gosden, who now holds a lead of pound 1.5 million over Aidan O'Brien in the race for the 2018 trainer's title. We've had a great week. We didn't bring many here, you don't come here half-hearted. Stradivarius was a bit quiet this morning. He had a pick of grass and said to me, can I have a rest for a bit? But Roaring Lion cantered this morning and was absolutely full of himself. Expert eye and detour justified Evans favoritism in the Group 3 City of York stakes and will now head to France for the Group 1 Prix du Milan or Prix de la Forte at Longchamp. The Claire Haven trainer began a bar a week by landing the Group 1 Judd Mondi International with Roaring Lion. On Friday, he saddled Stradivarius to victory in the Group 2 Lonsdale Cup, a success that netted his owner Bjorn Nielsen a pound 1 million bonus. And yesterday Gosden broke new ground when capturing the Sky Bet a bar with Munda, who, for good measure, led home stable companion weekender. The former champion jockey's Ebar fixture revolved around one horse, Nunthorpe favorite Bata Ash. A flat fourth was all Bata Ash could manage in Friday's five furlong test, but Crowley netted compensation when Munda gave him a first success in the Ebar when leading home John Gosden stablemate a week hinder. Some days it goes your way, some days it doesn't, smiled Crowley. It was a nice pick me up after yesterday. There are many phony marketing innovations in horse racing, so it made a nice change to see a good one at York yesterday. Before the Sky Bet Ebar, the jockeys were introduced one by one to the crowd by ITV's Alibel before getting the leg up. Most of the riders looked pretty bashful about acknowledging the crowd's applause, but with practice this could become legit made part of the big race build-up. I for one hope this catches on. Form experts spend their waking hours watching videos of races, studying sectional times and plotting pace maps. But sometimes it's best to keep it simple. York's Ebar Festival is the marquee race meeting of the year in the White Rose County. And guess who won it? Ebar Gum. The four days of the Ebar meeting have played host to top-class racing amid a vibrant atmosphere generated by large and enthusiastic crowds. And it's not all for the privileged few who pay the most money, everybody is well catered for, wherever they sit in the pyramid. If you get the chance to go, and I'm not paid to be on the track's marketing team, by the way, then my advice is to take it. 